Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, a special welcome to you. Today, we are doing another little wash and go style experiment, and what I'm experimenting today is actually a black owned gel. So I received this as a PR package, it's from Honey Bee Natural, and this is their curl defining flaxseed gel. It's been a minute since I've used flaxseed gel, so I was like, you know what, let's hop on here and do a whole review as a continuation of my black owned series here on YouTube. So if you guys are interested in seeing what this gel is all about and how well it works with my curls or doesn't, I don't know, about to find out, then just keep watching. All right, so as usual, I am starting with freshly washed hair. I have zero products in this thing right now, so first things, you know what the deal is. I'm gonna go ahead and section out my hair. <laughs> been noticing the longer my hair gets is the more that I need to section out my hair so I'm going in with some slightly smaller sections today to make sure we give this gel like the best chance possible my hair has already kind of dried a little bit since I stepped out of the shower so I'm gonna go ahead and re-wet this all right, here we go. Much better dripping wet, y'all know how I do. So I'm not just gonna do the gel by itself today. I'm gonna use my regular favorites, which are the Maui Moisture Combing Cream and then the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. I love these. If y'all saw my updated wash and go routine, you'll see that I use these and I swear by them. They're just so good, so delicious, so juicy. And I really wanted to pair this gel with stuff that I normally use so we can really give it like kind of a fair comparison. So I'm just going in with the combing cream. So I'm just going in with the combing cream first and just kind of combing that through and giving my curls some moisture. I'm also gonna focus a little bit of extra product on the ends here because my ends be getting dry, all right? So they just need a little extra help, it's fine, it's okay. And then after that, I'm going on with my mousse. Boom, y'all see these curls? Whew, lovely, nice and prepped for this gel. So this is called a curl defining flaxseed gel with Manuka honey and honestly, like when you smell it, it legit smells like honey. Mm. I kind of like the fact that it has Manuka honey in there because I know that means it's gonna be really nice and moisturizing. Ooh, it feels really nice. So the one thing that I'm low key like, a little bit like worried about or just like kind of curious to see how it works is the level of hold. I know the shine is probably gonna be there, the moisture, you know, but how much curl definition am I actually gonna get with this? Let me go ahead and show you guys what the consistency is looking like. Do you see that? It's like super snotty. Like it's just, it's more than jelly. And it's a lot more runny than the actual curl maker, you know by Camille Rose that I'm always talking about here on my channel. It's definitely a little bit more runny than that, as you guys can see here, which I kind of like because, as I mentioned in my hair density video, I have low density hair, okay? And I just like lightweight products, so I feel like this is, I don't know, almost kind of feels like a slightly more lighter weight version of the Camille Rose curl maker. But like I said, I don't know. I don't know what the hold is gonna be like, because honestly, usually when I'm applying gel, I can kind of feel the curls like starting to like ooh, come to life, you know, get in formation, but I'm not really, I'm not really feeling that. I'm just feeling a super, super soft hold. Let me see if I can show y'all. Like, do you see this? It just looks, I don't know, it looks a little bit loose. So I'm just, I'm really worried about the level of hold that I'm gonna get with this. I mean, it's, it's like not terrible, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what this is gonna look like later. I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just to see if like, is it buildable? Like can, if we use more, do we get more hold? I don't know. I definitely don't feel like it's hugging my curls. I don't. Ah! I'm actually, I'm actually nervous for these results, but let's just keep going. We'll see how it goes. So let's talk about the brand really quick. So Honey Bee Natural is a black owned brand and it is also female owned, which I really, really like. She makes natural, handmade, natural hair products and I think it's amazing. The whole flaxseed thing is supposed to be really good for your curls. It's supposed to be super moisturizing and super curl defining. When I first saw this gel, I was just like, hell yeah, black owned, natural, good ingredients, you know? So I was really, really excited kind of give this a try. 
I mean, maybe this is one of those gels that I will have to use like the Camille Rose Curl Maker. If you guys have seen my other videos, you'll see that I kind of use that product as more of a finisher. It's not my main gel. I'll mix it with other gels and just kind of use it as a finisher like on top. So I'm wondering if maybe that's how I'll have to use this going forward. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna count it out just yet. So in terms of the smell, it literally smells like something that you could eat. It smells like straight up honey with like maybe a hint of, hold on. Nope, it just smells like straight up honey. It is super sweet, it smells really nice actually. I, I'm digging the smell because it doesn't smell like you know, a manufactured fragrance. It just smells like straight up honey and I kinda like that. So by doing the like extra teeny sections, I feel like I am getting a bit of additional hold here. So maybe I just gotta keep going through with like my super, super small sections because look, I mean, this doesn't look too bad. You can see in the back here, it's getting a little frizzy already, which is not a good sign, but I'm gonna attack that with a little bit more gel and hope that we can fix that, but definitely not a good sign. Oh, ooh, that's a little bit too much gel. Oh shit. I poured out way too much for this little section. You know what, we're testing it. Let's just do it, let's just do it. Let's just see what a crazy amount of gel is gonna look like. I'll add some more to the bottom section as well. All right, here's an update. This was, look at that. You can see like on the inside, it's just like, it's not holding. Oh boy. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. We just gotta keep going, basically. The curl definition is here. It is here in the small sections when I first apply. These I applied a few minutes ago and I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like some frizz already happening and it's only been a few minutes. <laughs> But who knows, it's still, you know, we still maybe could get like a, an interesting mix of curl definition and volume. Can you tell that I really want to love this product? I want to love it, but I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, you know what I'm going to do that actually kind of helps to encourage a little bit of additional curl definition? I'm going to go ahead and grab my diffuser and just diffuse a little bit until it's like not so, so wet and maybe that will help to encourage a little bit of additional curl. I mean, this also might be one of those gels that you know feel a little bit like lightweight when it's in your hair while it's wet, but then, I don't know, really spring up when it's dry. You just don't know. Okay, so the diffuser did, like I said, end up giving us a little bit of additional curl definition. So I'm glad we went in with that a little bit. I'm now just gonna kind of let it just air dry the rest of the way so we can see. I mean, y'all can see on the sides, right? It's still pretty wet and it's already getting a little bit poofy. Um, the whole point of this series is to uplift black businesses, right? But. I want to be real with y'all at the same time and let you know like whether or not it does work with my curls. Anyways, it's going to be too early for me to make any firm decision at the moment. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But I'm really going to tell you how I truly feel once we see the fully dry results because anything is possible. All right. If 2020 has taught us one thing is that anything could happen. So you never know. Maybe the drying process is where the magic happens with this gel. So I'm going to go ahead and just give this a couple hours to air dry and then I'll meet y'all back in the studio for us to discuss the final results. All right, we need to discuss these results, okay? I am like, I'm just, honestly, I really feel like the magic definitely kind of happened while it was drying. So here is what we are working with. We have majorly defined curls. And this is not what I was expecting from this at all. You guys saw how nervous I was about not having enough hold, not having enough curl definition, and having to worry about frizz. And honestly, right now, we really have a super high level of curl definition. So much so that my volume kind of isn't even there. So that's definitely something that I wasn't expecting at all. And also what I was 
wasn't expecting was for it to dry with a little bit of a crunch like that is how intense the curl definition got it's really unique like I've never really used a gel kind of like this but I will say that the closest thing to it would be that Camille Rose Curl Maker. So the results we have today, overall, not really my super ideal, ultimate favorite kind of look for my wash and goes. You guys know I love to get a really good mix of volume and curl definition, so I feel like the curl definition is there, but we might need to wait until tomorrow to really get that volume. As for curl definition, holds, and curls that are gonna last, I do genuinely believe that this gel actually surprised me and it actually gave me all of those three things so I will say here's the bottle you guys saw I started out with a full bottle so I did use quite a bit of product and in terms of the bottle itself it comes in a really tiny packaging so if you have a lot of hair and your hair is like maybe longer than mine like you'll run through this pretty quickly I would say maybe I have about two two and a half washes left in this selling it in larger packaging would definitely be some constructive criticism that I would have for this brand so if you look really really close you'll also see that we do have a high amount of shine which I'm really liking I mean usually that's kind of what flaxseed is gonna be there for curl definition and shine I think the manuka honey that's in here as well really helped to achieve that as well so here's how I'm feeling I don't think I would ever go back and kind of use this gel on its own again kind of like how I did it today I would definitely want to give this a try and use it kind of how I use curl maker and mix it with other gels that kind of give me the curls that I prefer I feel like these curls are a little bit too crunchy a little bit too stiff and it's just not my normal preference it's not what I kind of go for I always love to get that curl definition but like a fluffy kind of curl definition if that makes sense this is kind of a little bit stiff a little bit much probably due to how much product I use because y'all saw I used a lot because I was nervous that I wasn't really gonna get the hold so yeah bottom line Liz is on the fence it's Liz approved in terms of the ingredients and in terms of like the packaging the brand itself the vibe like I, I love it I'm here for it but in terms of how it works in my curls and the type of curls that it gave me like are these are these passable curls yes but are these the curls that I'm like yes like I love this this is the perfect kind of wash and go no I did not get that vibe from this and using it by its own so I'm hoping that when I do go ahead and test it out with a few other gels little different things here and there that maybe I can then find that like sweet spot with this gel because I do love everything else about it and so I really kind of just want to love it and want to make it work. So make sure that you guys are following me on my Instagram. I always am coming through on stories with the random like product reviews, you know, here and there on my stories. So make sure you're staying up to date on there so you can see if maybe I do find some kind of sweet spot for this. I hope you guys found this useful. And if you do have any additional questions for me, y'all know you can just go ahead, comment them below, and we can get a nice little conversation going on down there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. Just go ahead, hit that subscribe button so we can keep this channel going and keep doing really fun and great things. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.